hidden away at San Diego State, past the Love Library, through Hempner Hall, beneath Hardy Tower, stacked nearly straight up and down overlooking Mission Valley and the 8 Freeway is San Diego State's art department. And once a week, between the noise of students and freeway traffic, a puzzling sound. And that's about all of that that I need. That's Jim Cavolt tending the art department vegetable garden. The thing is, is we don't need a whole lot of celery because it's just going to be for the hummus. Jim loves his garden. When I say it's his garden, I mean he takes care of it. It belongs to the whole art department, but it was all Jim's idea. My thought was is that we had these pre-built planters that, um, that had these really ugly hedges in them. They weren't doing anybody any good, so I, I thought it would be a, a great idea if we could make a garden out of it. Jim needed permission from the university. That was a project in and of itself. San Diego State Facilities is in charge of where Jim wanted to put his garden. He needed their permission before he could plant his first seed. They were very reluctant. Um, they don't like to do things that's going to make somebody more work, which I completely understand. They also didn't want to rip out hedges that were low maintenance. But he persisted, eventually getting a meeting with the head of facilities. Said exactly what was going on and that I would take full responsibility for this. And um, they said, fair enough. And they let me do it. Then the real hard work began. We had to dig the roots out. Um, they rototilled everything for us. I even got our state vehicle and tied a rope to it to pull some of the stumps out. And the garden took off. I started making lunches for everybody and it kind of evolved into this thing where I, I use the majority of the, the vegetables from the garden and make food once a week for people while the semester's going on. Jim takes over the kitchen in the art department office and plays chef for anyone that shows up. Up to like 10 or 12 people. And Jim cooks the whole thing. This week's menu? Lentil soup, homemade hummus, homemade falafel, and a layered salad. But look at the lentil soup. Smell the lentil soup. This is beautiful stuff. The lucky dozen students and professors file in. Why don't you guys go ahead and start eating? It truly becomes a community garden then. <laughs> and after it's all over and everyone's full, Jim smiles to himself, cleans up the kitchen, and starts to plan for next week. Next time I make falafel, I'm going to make a bunch of it. Matt Bowler, KPBS News. <laughs> I just wasn't sure how much it would make.